What's going on, people? My name's Timmy Joe, making videos about 3D printing Mario figurines. No, it's usually about computers. But today on the program, uh, a precursor to a series that I'm developing, whereby I make my own computer parts, starting off with my own computer case. And uh, essentially, I want to make my own computer case from scratch using plastic and metal. And I have a bit of sheet metal uh, work background. Uh, I was a auto body mechanic for uh, about eight years and on and off, some managing in between there. But uh, I'm no stranger to, you know, uh, sheet metal breaks and, you know, forming metal to, you know, riveting and this and that and the other thing. So uh, I think this will be really fun. And I think I could definitely make a better case than Deep Cool or NZXT or Corsair ever, ever made. Probably not. But it'll be fun while we do it, and it'll be different. And uh, we can see I've already banged my finger a little bit. Anyways, so uh, in the hopes of doing this, I've acquired a 3D printer. This is the Snapmaker 3-in-1 3D printer. And you say 3-in-1, well, it doesn't just 3D print. It was a Kickstarter thing, and it was uh, really well received because it also does laser engraving which I think it only works on wood seems to only work on wood and it does CNC carving which I thought that would be cool to carve some acrylic out and make my own CPU block but it probably only works on wood uh, but there is a second version coming out and Snapmaker has uh, assured me that I will be receiving one of these when it comes out so uh, I can kind of upgrade but get used to this and kind of do some uh, quick you know promotion on there and for the the 3d printer so why am i making this video all unedited and with the loud printer printing in the background well i wanted to uh start off this whole series with uh kind of a, a word to the wise out there okay maybe you're a savvy person like myself maybe you're uh you know pretty good with hardware pretty good you know pretty technical person you know you're good with your computer hardware you're good with you know making your own you know, or uh, fixing your own cars. I'm very good at building things uh, and fabricating things and stuff like that. That's why I want to get into the case building thing. I think it'll be a cool opportunity for the channel. Uh, but then I got the 3D printer and uh, that, I don't know anything about it. And it, uh, it really was, I was thought it was broken. Just turns out, due to a lot of advice you guys were giving me yesterday, and if you haven't seen my video yesterday, I ran over a computer with my truck. Just check it out in the thing. It's a pretty good video on Windows Vista and how impossible it is to use in 2019. Uh, but uh, I just kind of showed the thing in the background of the video and a lot of you guys gave me kind of more encouragement to try it again. I had not done a successful print. I could never get the damn thing to stick to the bed. And here we are today and I print, I'm on my third thing printing. Seems to be working out. It's supposed to be a puppy dog for my wife. But I made a Mario figurine for uh, my son because he likes Mario. Can we get you in focus? There we go. Mario's doing the, the two fingers. He's not doing this though. I should have gotten him to do this. But essentially, uh, I, I don't want this to be a review of the Snapmaker or anything. The Snapmaker seems to be a fairly uh, awesome product actually, but I think just 3D printing in general is, uh, it, it can be very um, off-putting when you put it all together, you kind of know what you're doing, you go to Thingiverse, you find a Mario figure, and then you can never get the damn print to stick to the bed. And you can never, you know, get, get the damn thing working. And you've calibrated it 600 times, hold on. And it still doesn't, and then, yeah, and then the spool gets all tangled up in the back. Are you kidding me right now? See? Why is it tangled? That's a silly design for the spoolie thing, anyways. But uh, today, I took a breath over the weekend, took a couple days this week, didn't touch the damn thing. And it's a resilient uh, little piece of machinery because I may have punched it last week when uh, I was on my like 10th attempt of trying to print something and it not working. And it seems to be calibrated and fine today. So even a little punching action didn't, uh, didn't hurt the damn thing. I didn't really punch it that hard. I just was like, Pfft. you know, I gave the old Pfft. when I, you know, I was on my like 12th print in a row that wasn't working. But when you get into this, expect a whole lot of, uh, you know, this stuff to just be like everywhere and, uh, you know, expect 
you know, that your um, filament will get clogged in the machine and you'll have to take it apart and maybe it's not coming out and that we realize that the filament is stuck inside and it broke off and it, that's why it's not feeding itself. Uh, and I literally had to take the damn thing apart and clean some broken filament out of there because I don't know how it, it just my in my nubulence, which is a word, in my uh, my my new my plebness of 3D printers, I somehow got broke off the filament inside it. Uh, I also uh, changed the uh, extruder because I thought you know something was wrong there. Uh, I, I changed the bed sticker. It comes with a bed sticker. Apparently a lot of times it's glass and glass is a good thing to print on if you know what you're doing. It's a bad thing to do, print on if not, but uh, uh, essentially calibrate the crap out of it and find, you'll have to find where the uh, you know proper calibration for your 3D printer works out because I was using a piece of paper like it told me and you put it in the corner and it presses down and you try to barely jiggle it and that's what it says to do. Uh, and then uh, I actually found out that once I changed the bed sticker, because I messed it up a few times, you can see it dragged a hot, you know, around it. And then somehow I got a burnt hole in it. I don't even, anyways, it seems to be working a lot better. So I don't know if this thing was just oiled up or what, but it wouldn't stick to this one. It's sticking to that one. So it could be just that I'm an idiot and didn't have it calibrated closely enough because the paper that was on the back of the sticker, because it has a waxy side, when I put that in there, and uh, I can barely jiggle it around, that seems to be about where it needs to be to be calibrated to get a good first uh, go. And then uh, do, if your printer will allow it, a raft, which is one of these things, okay? And this is like a little bit of 3D printness that it knows it can print this perfectly, and it makes like three or four layers of this. Is it working? Oh God, it's screwed up, see? See, it's screwed, oh my God, I yelled. See, I didn't even mean for this to happen, but right now it's just printing a bunch of legs. <laughs> you get a bunch of uh, 3D print boogers that just, they, it didn't stick well enough to the, the raft, I guess, and eventually knocked off one of the legs. And now we've got 3D print boogers. Maybe I'll just give them to my kid. Say, hey, those have been dad in daddy's nose. <laughs> Anyways, that sucks. Damn it. And I gotta make the dog over again. I wanted to make a little 3D printed dog for my wife. But I have successfully printed, and I will keep trying, uh, the dice and the Mario. And the Mario, uh, his hand fell off, but I, I actually melted it back on. A little piece of it just wasn't printing right, so I pulled it off. It continued. It actually looks pretty good. I'll, uh, here, can we get a good close-up? God damn it, with the, the, the focusing. There we go. There we go. Look how cool this looks. It's pretty good. And then there, there's the dice. The dice, I, uh, the, the spool got caught in the back and halfway through it, I, I paused it and then it didn't really quite pick up where it left off. So there's a little bit of like a line halfway in the dice. But it's, it's fun. And I thought you guys might want to come along with me. And, oh, that's really good focusing. Let's just leave it like that. And uh, I can kind of give you an idea of how hard it is to get into 3D printing. Because that's a thousand dollar machine Canadian, so it's probably like 750 American. It was a it was a Kickstarter, and I haven't done any of this stuff yet because I don't I don't know. I need to get some wood that I really care to do a little engraving into, or uh, you know, do a little uh, laser etching into. Uh, but I wanted to do the 3D printing thing first because I want to print like drive sleds that go in this you know case that I'm going to fabricate, and I wanted to print like. In order to do that, actually, I need to uh, design this stuff. So I need to get into software that I'll be able to actually CAD out the things I'm going to be printing. Because it's not as simple as, you know, if you're, if you're going to actually make going on Thingiverse and finding something, like you're going to have to make it from scratch. And uh, I'd like to get into finding out how to do this stuff. And then when their second one launches, be good enough at it that I kind of, I can do the rest of the, the, the stuff and the things with it. So, Mario! success dice and apparently um looks weird where where there we go can you see the hologram yeah it's like a hologram i put some sharpie on it to make dice and it's weird but i'm sad i wanted to have the damn dog finished by the time my wife got home and it died so that's at least it, it takes at least 
an hour and a half to make this. And that's in the, the fast quality setting. And he's got a bunch of, you know, problems with them. But uh, we'll, we'll get to it. I think that uh, I'd like to hear your feedback. Because there obviously was a couple of you out there who were uh, into the 3D printing when I even just showed it for a second in the background of the videos. I want to know what your experiences are. I'd like to know what the best uh, inexpensive 3D printer is to get into doing stuff like this, as well as, uh, you know, just your experiences your, uh, in the comments, your, your first prints, and you know, how long it took you to get situated, what are some tips you can give me for the 3D printing, because I think this is a cool addition to the channel. I've never seen, except for like, you know, he will, who will not be named, uh, get like a bunch of extra equipment because he's a bajillionaire line. <clears throat> um, sorry, I coughed there. Don't cough if you're in my office and I'm interviewing. I had a good answer to that. Anyways, so I've only seen him do anything like this. I'd like to get into it on a smaller scale, do some making of some computer parts. I think that's a cool avenue to go down. What do you think? So I'm at Watch Timmy Join Scram on Twitter. I made a 3D print of uh, Mario and uh, you know a dice you saw I put this thing together it was pretty easy pretty cool and it's actually pretty resilient like I said I may or may not have shoved it a bit when the 15th print didn't work out but you can eventually get it working and I will get that dog made and I'll show it to you in the update video when I actually do a review of this thing and uh, check out all of its uh, 1000 parts so I'm at watch Jimmy join Instagram and Twitter thank you very much for watching and this has been 11 minutes of me talking at the camera about 3D printers.